I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mona Shores. These are your daily announcements for Wednesday, March 30th, 2016. I'm steamed. Baba Bui. Girl Scout Troop 4546 from Ross Park is collecting donations for every woman's place. Donation boxes will be located in the lobby of the high school. A list of items can be found in the boxes, but in general they need personal hygiene products, diapers, new clothing, towels, sheets, books, etc. Donations will be collected through April 15th. Seniors planning to attend MCC in the fall, please sign up in the counseling office for a senior visit day on May 3rd from 8.30 to 2 o'clock. This will include testing, counseling, lunch, orientation, and registration. Seniors interested in being the 2016 commencement speaker, please see Mrs. Crass in room 305 by tomorrow to sign up for an audition time slot and pick up information about audition requirements. Auditions will be held April 13th, 18th, and 19th in room 305. Only students who sign up in advance will be permitted to audition. Sign up early so that you have plenty of time to prepare your speech. Please vote for the cover of next year's handbook. Go to the website located on the announcements page to vote for your favorite cover. Voting ends Friday. Congratulations to Chloe Lister for winning the MSHS Face the Book poster competition. Chloe will advance to a county-wide competition where one lucky winner will have their poster displayed on a billboard located on Seaway Drive. Parents, students, and community members can vote for your favorite poster on Muskegon Allies Face the Book Facebook page between March 25th to April 1st. Seminole Shores Assisted Living Center is looking for models for their vintage fashion show. They have clothes to fit a variety of sizes, no experience necessary. Contact Judy Hines at jhines at heritagepmi.com if you are interested. The show is May 6th. If you applied for the technical crew for the spring play, there will be a meeting at 3 o'clock today in room 305. We will conduct the Michigan Merit Examination after spring break. All juniors will take the SAT on Tuesday, April 12th, ACT Work Keys on Wednesday, April 13th, and MSTEP on Thursday, April 14th. All sophomores and freshmen will take PSATs Tuesday, April 12th. Check your email for a schedule and classroom assignment for testing. Seniors will have no school on Tuesday, April 12th, Wednesday, April 13th. All 9th, 10th, and 12th grade students will attend their regular scheduled classes with students normally in the math and science wing assigned to other classrooms for first and second hours. Students will have an hour lunch. Thursday, April 14th, all 9th, 10th, and 12th grade students will attend a reverse hour schedule starting with 5th hour and ending with the 1st. Students normally in the math science wing will be assigned to other classrooms for 4th and 5th hours. Students will have an hour lunch. Check your email for a schedule and relocated classrooms. Juniors who did not attend last Friday's pre-bubble day for the SAT will need to be in the LMC after school today or tomorrow. If you are not able to attend either of these days, you will need to contact Mr. Higgs and arrange for a different time. Today in sports, the freshman baseball team will host Thornapple Kellogg and the soccer teams host West Ottawa. Today in history, in 1981, President Ronald Reagan was shot. He suffered a collapsed lung. The next day, he signed a piece of legislation from his hospital bed. On March 30, 1870, the 15th Amendment was adopted. The 15th Amendment of the Constitution granted African-American men the right to vote. Today in history, King George endorses the New England Restraining Act, hoping to keep the New England colonies dependent on the British. The Restraining Act required the colonies to trade exclusively with Great Britain. On March 30, 1870, the 15th Amendment was adopted. The 15th Amendment of the Constitution granted African-American men the right to vote. Today in history, King George endorses the New England Restraining Act, hoping to keep the New England colonies dependent on the British. The Restraining Act required the colonies to trade exclusively with Great Britain. Obamacare patients sicker and pricier than expected. Patients in Obamacare are sicker and need significantly more medical care than those in employer-sponsored plans. According to a new Blue Cross Blue Shield Associates report, this raises fresh concerns about the possibility of steep rates hikes for 2017 and of insurers leaving Obamacare exchanges. The study the first is a kind to look at millions of enrollees across the country found that Obamacare members have higher rates of costly illnesses such as diabetes, depression, hypertension, heart disease, HIV, and hepatitis C. Two days with
And the law of 52. That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a good day. I guess I gotta go from the top.